Today's video is brought to you by Tanakra, Power Automate, and SharePoint Online. Hello, and welcome to How Did Jason Do That? Today I'll be showing you how to move documents between document libraries in SharePoint Online with approvals using Power Automate. To do this yourself, you will need a Microsoft 365 tenant with access to SharePoint Online. If you don't already have a Microsoft 365 license, head over to Microsoft and get yourself one. Before we get started today though, don't forget to hit that shiny subscribe button and turn on those notifications to get notified when another one of my videos becomes available. And please, feel free to leave your comments below. Let's get started. Create a new SharePoint site. In this case, we'll just create a basic team site for us to be able to capture this information. We will name the new team site document move with approval. When done, click finish. We will be taken to our new SharePoint site. Here we are going to create a new document library called Drafts. This is where we'll be keeping our documents as we work on them. Additionally, we will also create a new document library and name it Approved with the intent that documents that are created uh, within the Drafts document library, uh, once they go through an approval process, they will be copied over to the Approved document library. So in the drafts document library, we're going to create a new column for approval status. In this case, we'll choose the choice field and we'll just name this approval status. And we'll give it the choice of draft. So the documents in the drafting state, submit for approval, which will be a trigger that will set off the approval workflow if it's selected and approved for the final state. I'll give it some colors to indicate it's a draft not quite going, green almost approved, and then a solid green for fully approved. And I'll set the default value to draft. That way any new documents that are created in here initially start off in the draft state. I'm going to hit save. To test this out, I'll create a new document. Just make it a Word document. Once the document is saved, close it out. As you can see, its initial state is draft. Now we will go into Power Automate and we'll create a new flow. This will be an automated flow that will check the document library to see if anything's changed. And we'll skip for right now. Search SharePoint and we'll search for file. We'll choose when an item or file is modified. Paste the URL of your new site. Next, we'll choose list or library. In this case, we're going to look in our drafts document library. So this is our trigger. When an item or file is modified in this site, it will look inside this drafts document library. We'll now go to the next step. We're going to search for SharePoint. And we're going to look for the word change. Choose get changes for an item or a file. So what this does is if anything changes, it's going to get the information from that file of our SharePoint site. We want to look inside the drafts folder to see if there are any changes or get the changes from it. The ID will be from the, the step above. So when that file is changed, it will get the, the changes that have been made. We have this since and until, and there's some built-in triggers that, can, that will fire this off. They're called tokens. We'll search specifically for the word token. And as you can see, we're given two options, start token and end token. So we'll just use these for the since and until. So there's a start token. And then for the until, We'll do another search for a token. Then we'll go trigger window end token. 
let's give it a more appropriate name as well. So we'll call this move document with approval. I'll hit save again. What we're going to listen for now is to see what has changed. We're now going to do a bit of logic on this. We're looking to see if anything has changed in the file and get those changes. The next step after this is a bit of logic. If it's changed to a certain property or to a certain value, do this. So with that, we're going to go new step and we're going to choose control. We're going to look for a specific condition. So I'll choose condition. In this case, I'm going to look to see has the column changed for approval status. And if it has changed, we'll just put the value true. So has the column changed true? So after we've checked to see whether or not the approval status column has changed, we're gonna add another control. Check for the approval status and see whether or not it matches submit for approval. If it does, it will trigger an approval work. So we'll choose start and wait for an approval. There are several different types of approvals you can choose from, but for this demonstration, we will choose approve, reject, first to respond. For the title, I'll just put in the file name with extension. Who it's assigned to, I'll use myself. For a link, we can search for dynamic content and go link and we'll see link to item. And for a description, I'll say, please review, and again, a placeholder for file name. So this will kick off a workflow. The next step is to wait for an outcome of the approval. And if it's approved, do one thing, and if it's rejected, do another. So again, we'll just use control and use conditional logic. For choose a value, we're going to choose outcome. So we'll get the outcome, the approval. And if it's equal to approve, then we'll search for SharePoint. And we'll search for update. We'll update the file properties. We'll approve drafts, or we'll, we'll look in the drafts document library. We'll choose ID. We'll change the approval status value to approved. So let's walk down this logic. If a file is changed, get those properties. Has the approval status column changed? Yes. Has it changed to submit for approval? It has. So therefore, we'll start and wait for an approval. Once that approval has an outcome, if it's equal to approved, it will update the file and change that approval status to approved. Now the final step here is to copy the document. So I'm going to add an action. I'm going to search for SharePoint and we'll search for copy and we'll see copy file. So what we do now is we find the current site address of our site. We'll find the file to copy. So it's looking for a file identifier. If we look for identifier, we'll notice that there's an identifier value here. We'll just add that. That way it knows what file it's copying. For the destination site address, we are going to choose a document library within the same site and throw in that URL. For destination folder, we click on the folder icon and we'll look for the approved document library. Finally, it asks us if another file is already there, what do you want to do with it? In this case, we're just going to replace it. And that's really it. So let's hit save and test this out. We already have a document in the drafts folder. Now let's test this. We'll go to the test at the top right and we'll do a manual trigger. We'll hit test. So right now it says to see it work now, Modify a list item in the SharePoint folder you selected. So we'll do that. We'll go to the drafts folder, select our test document, and change approval status to submit for approval. 
Let's go back to Power On, mate, and watch it run. So now it says that the approval status column has changed. So therefore it went to the yes. Was it changed to submit for approval? True. So now it goes and starts and waits for an approval. In Teams or through Outlook, the approver will receive a request to approve the document. As you see here, there is a hyperlink to take you to the document if the approver chooses to add any comments. For this demonstration, we will just hit approve. We'll go back to Power Automate. We'll see that the approval is done. It's now gone down to the next one. Was it approved? True. Then it's updating the file properties and it's copying the file. So let's check that out. As you can see in the document library, the file is now marked as approved. And if we look at the approved document library, we have an exact copy of it. So it's done exactly what we wanted it to do. Of course, there are many different things you can add to your Power Automate. Perhaps a step to say if it was rejected or capture the approval comments and throw them inside the document library. Thank you for joining me today on this video on how to move documents between document libraries in SharePoint Online using Power Automate. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications and leave your comments below. Visit this channel again to see how did Jason do that. And until next time, keep experimenting with those Microsoft 365 offerings. Take care.